Reality al Mahdi, the channel is press light. Enjoy the blessed words of the well guided Imam here on Reality al Mahdi. Now, the other question asked about the stones being used in Jahannam it's the mystics who can teach it to you. You see, there are two types of stone. A stone labeled as a non-living, when in fact it's alive because Allah gave him a soul. That's why people who've said that the Jamadats don't have souls didn't consult the aristocrats of heaven. As they believe that two types of stone exist, a stone with a soul and a stone without a soul. The stones Allah will be using to fool hellfire will not have souls. The stones and mountains with a symbol and in which the prophets visited, like the case of Turisinin, those kinds of mountains have souls. This is why the stones used in Jahannam do not feel pain, as they don't have a soul. Allah in His decree will transform them into a punishment for humans, that is to say, the stones will burn humans, but they will not fill it. But you see, if the stones with a soul were to be used in Jahannam, they would have asked Allah to remove them from hellfire, because the sparks they give off capture the connections coming from Ghaib going to Shahada. This is the reason Prophet Musa alayhi salam was able to stand at Turisinin and communicate with the Lord. This was possible thanks to the connection. And these types of connections are activated with the help of the Zikr towards the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Prophecy, prophecy, his time has come, his time has arrived. The one Rasulullah has told us about this mission at the end of time.